Architecture is so interwoven with our lives. We deal with it whether we want to or not because it's the built environment. We inhabit it and so um, it's so Im important you know to people's lives and if you don't involve them uh, then you're giving them a solution that may not meet their expectations. It may not meet their functional requirements. It may not meet uh, their aesthetic expectations and so it always starts with um, talking with the client and talking with the 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 end users of the space. I mean that that's why uh, if you look at most of our projects uh, what we do uh, we are dealing directly with the people that will inhabit the space and so we're not just talking to CEOs uh, we're not just talking to the office manager we're talking to the people that um, are living and working in the space and I think one of the best examples is Rankin Jordan uh, which is a pediatric hospital um, and uh, it, you know if you look at that building uh, from the outside it looks very fun I mean it's a very it's got color it's got curves it's got different shapes I mean it looks like an amusement park if you squint your eyes and we actually had exercises for the kids to do to talk about um, spaces they they liked and, and uh, colors that they like, shapes they like, what things they would like to see. And so I think you get the most uh, profound effects if, if you can have this direct dialogue with the people that will be using that space. We've been given the opportunity that to, uh, um, to try and make a difference. And to me, like, that's more powerful than anything.